What's going on guys? Coming at you today with a foreign discs video. Um, I know it's been a long time since I've done a foreign disc video, so I figured it was only right to do a foreign disc video when I got this brand new Spider-Man PS4 Pro. Um, the color is called Amazing Red, in case you didn't know. Um, and first, before I start this video, go down in the comments, let me know if you want this PS4. Um, I'm not giving it away, I just want to know if you want it. So yeah, um, I'm going to be seeing what happens when you put a foreign disc in this uh, Spider-Man PS4. Um, one other thing I just want to show you guys before I get into it is this uh, pretty cool Xbox One controller I bought. I know this is a PS4 video, but it's uh, the Duke controller. So basically, the uh, it's like the original Xbox controller. But yeah, let me know in the comments if you want me to do anything with this controller specifically. Um, got some ideas, but want to know your guys' ideas as well. Alright, so got a lot of games to try. Um, PlayStation games, Xbox games, um, Nintendo games, PC... You know, we got the whole the whole thing. So let's go ahead and make sure my PS4 is on so we can get this started. Um, probably should turn it on earlier, but that's okay. Let's go ahead and just uh, go through the games we got. So first of all, Spider-Man. Obviously this game came with the PS4 since they're both Spider-Man. And then this controller also came with it. It's a pretty cool controller. Um, it's the new kind of controller, so it's got the light bar on it. That's, that's pretty sweet. Um, but yeah, PS4 is booting up right now. All right, so let's go ahead and uh, let's open up this case. So pretty cool disc as well. Oh yeah, I'm user one, fancy I know. All right, so let's start um, Spider-Man for the PS4, and obviously this is gonna be what's supposed to happen when you play um, a PS or when you put the disc in, because um, obviously this is a PS4, so a PS4 game should work. If it doesn't, I'm in trouble. <laughs> um, it's actually taking a little while. There it is. All right, so yeah, that's what should happen when you play a PS4 game on a PS4. Um, usually, you'd already have that installed, but I haven't really been using this PS4, so <laughs> game's not installed yet. Which is kind of sad, I know. But let's oh, wrong button. There we go. So let's uh, eject this. You know, one thing I wish about this uh, Spider-Man PS4. I wish they made the top um, like a matte, matte material rather than glossy, because glossy, you know, attracts fingerprints and scratches and stuff. But that's a, that's kind of minor, just a random thought. Um, so let's go ahead and do a PS1 game or PlayStation game, um, NFL Blitz 2000. By the way, has anybody heard of the PlayStation Classic? Um, what the heck? There's no disc in here. Well, that's pretty lame. Let me go get another PS1 game real quick. All right, so I got another PS1 game, <laughs> NBA Showtime, NBA on NBC. And the disc is in there this time. Um, and yeah, so to continue on what I was saying before, this disc, um, PlayStation Classic, just announced like a week ago. Looks pretty cool, but um, yeah, it's 100 bucks. Kind of expensive for what it is, but we'll see. They haven't announced all the games yet. But our only concern right now is, is this PlayStation game going to work on my PS4? Because if it is, why is the PlayStation Classic even a thing? Alright, I don't know if you can hear it, but it's it's churning pretty hard. It's trying to do something. It's no it knows it's a PlayStation game. I mean it's still trying. It it knows it's related. It's like it's like the cousin that I, I don't know. Like a cousin you didn't invite to some cousin event. That was really a stupid analogy, but Alright, I don't think it's gonna work. It's still churning in there. Probably gonna break the PS4 laser. All right, so next up, PS2 game, GTA 3. All right, now wouldn't it be sweet? I mean, all we want is backwards compatibility. Is it too much to ask? You can see it up there churning again. Oh, there it is. Oh, oh unsupported. All right, let's click on it. Disc is not supported by PS4. Oh, well, it's pretty generic. I feel like they could have at least told me that it's... It would be kind of... You know, I'd be all right if this game didn't work, but it'd be pretty sweet if it like recognized a disc. But like this PS2 game does not work, and it even like gave the title and name the game. Like GTA 3 does not work on this console. I don't know. I feel like that'd be kind of cool. All right, Call of Duty Ghosts PS3. I feel like since it's the same format of disc, this should probably work. 
So give it a few seconds. Um, come on now. There it is. Oh. Cannot play PlayStation 3 format disc. See, so that's that's a one step in the right direction. It at least recognizes that it's a PS3 game. Um, see, that's that's where Sony's gone wrong. Is they should recognize a PS, it's a PS3 game and then let us play it, like you know the Xbox One has. Because you know the Xbox One, you can put in like a, a backwards compatible Xbox 360 game or something. It'll recognize your disc and then it'll let you download the game for free. Um, that's what PlayStation should do, um, but they haven't. So, original Xbox, Project Gotham Racing, classic racing game. If you played it now, though, I'm sure the gra graphics would look terrible to you, <laughs> even though they used to look great. Um, another interesting thing is what if they come out with a Xbox classic? That'd be kind of cool. I bet this game would be on there. Oh, here we go. Alright, so it thinks it's something, but it thinks it's a DVD. Oh, I think I've seen this happen before. Is it going to do the thing, or... What is this? A button guide. Okay. Oh, yeah, this thing. Yeah, it's, this thing has tricked me so many times. I think I'm about to play Xbox game. It even shows the Xbox logo and everything. And then all of a sudden it comes up with this thing that says, You can't play. Yep. Please put in your Xbox to start playing. So basically, it's telling me that, I don't know, it's just so funny because it, it, it like tricks you. It plays like a whole Xbox startup thing. And then it's like, oh yeah, you can't play this game, sorry. But whatever. Right, so this is, this is why I made this whole video. Um, so I got my Spider-Man PS4, but I'm about to play a Batman game on it. So, curious. I feel like Spider-Man is just going to immediately reject this Batman game. I don't think Spider-Man and Batman are rivals or anything, but I feel like they're kind of competing superheroes. I don't know. DVD? Oh, don't do the same thing. Dude, it's about to do the same thing where it, like, tricks me. Oh, nope, it just tells me I cannot play the disc. All right. Somebody want to look up the error code and tell me what it is? That'd be cool because I don't feel like doing that. Alright, so next up, after this game comes out, we got an Xbox One game. So, this is what everybody's always wondering. Can we play Xbox One games on PS4? Um, oh, we got multiple games in here. Oh yeah, because this is the limited, this is, the, uh, this is like the, uh, what do you call it, Game of the Year edition. So yeah, it's got the whole bundle of stuff. Red Dead Redemption. They're actually coming out with the second one. In like a month or two, I think. That game's going to be pretty sweet. Alright, so it's churning up. Can we play Xbox One games on the PS4? The answer is yes. Here we go. I'm pretty hype. Until it gives me an error. So, if you go ask your local Best Buy employee, they might tell you you can play Xbox One games on your PS4. And you might believe them but they're probably lying to you unless they got a better Xbox One game because that Xbox One game did not work um, now GameCube ooh, dude, I always get ambitious and trying to game this GameCube game and then I see how small it is and I see the disc slot and then I just wonder should I actually try it and the answer is no I, dude, I just don't I don't want it to get stuck in there and then render my PS4 useless you know or, I mean, I could take the PS4 apart and take it out, but that's a lot of work. Um, so, we got a Wii game now. Mario Kart Wii. We got a normal size disc now. <laughs> that's better than the uh, small mini GameCube disc. So, let's see what we got. Man, the Wii. I haven't played the Wii in a quick minute. Alright, so it's trying to load it up. I just try to do like a shift. Oh, unrecognized disc. Make sure it's not damaged or dirty. So that's that's interesting. It kind of it, it's it almost sounds like it thinks it is a a compatible game like a PS4 game. It just thinks it's dirty or something. Rather than because you know you saw some of the other warnings and it was like oh this disc is un uncompatible. It didn't even say that one was uncompatible. It just said it's dirty. So that's interesting. 
So now Wii U game. I feel like it's probably similar to the the Wii game. Maybe it'll, uh, you know, I don't know. I'm not really sure what this one's gonna do. I feel like it's gonna recognize something. Um, come on, the Playroom. I feel like the Playroom is the name of a game that Nintendo would make, not PlayStation, but uh, yeah. All right, so nothing is happening. You probably can't hear my disc disc slot, but it's like I don't know. It sounded crazy. It sounded like it was breaking. So I'm gonna go ahead and abort mission on that one. Let's get a couple more. Roller Coaster Tycoon 3 Gold. So this game, pretty sweet game. I haven't played it in a long time, but when I used to play PS PC games, I used to play yeah, I used to play um, Roller Coaster Tycoon all the time. Really fun game. It just like it'll take so much of your time. Take like four hours building a coaster and then you'll never play it again. But you know, that's just the way it goes. Alright, so it's turning up. It's making some noises. But it's not finishing the job. Come on. Alright, I'm taking this one out. Not today, sonny boy. It's not your day. Alright, so this one's gonna be interesting. Uh, first of all, because it's another Batman um, Batman uh, movie in this case. Um, so, you know, like I was saying earlier, Spider-Man, Batman, I feel like they're, they're both superheroes, but, like, I feel like they're, like, uh, opposing superheroes. So I feel like putting a Batman disc in the, in the, uh, Spider-Man, um, console, it's, like, a bad idea, but we'll see. Um, so, if you didn't see, that's, this is a 4K, uh, movie. Honestly, I think PS4 might not can play P uh, 4K movies. Which is pretty sad, if that is true. I feel like I read that one time. And it's not looking good, because it's trying. But it's not doing anything. Dude, that is, honestly doesn't make any sense. We can play 4K games, but we can't play 4K movies. That's actually super lame. Especially since it's a Blu-ray disc. Uh, honestly, that makes no sense. But it's not working. Wow. Can you seriously not play 4K movies on the PS4 Pro? Dude, that's super sad. I'm not gonna lie. You messed up there, Sony. I mean, you should have just made it. You already got three layers. Might as well make a fourth layer and enable it for 4K uh, movies. I mean, come on. You already wasted all your your design uh, characteristics. All right, so I got a couple a couple special things to try out. I'll just go ahead and show them all to you at once. So first, we got a Super NES game, and um. Nope, that's not gonna work. All right, let's try Rock Band Unplugged. So we got a little disc in here. See if it'll come out. And, oh, it fits perfectly right in here. And, oh, try to take it. Oh, uh, that, was, that was a little sketchy. Um, I'm gonna pass on that. It almost took it in and it was gonna definitely break my PS4. Um, but Sega Saturn. I'm feeling this. I'm feeling good about this one. I feel like I'm about to play a Sega Saturn game, to be honest. And it's gonna be glorious. Alright, I'm gonna give you five seconds before I just take it back out. Five, four, three, two, one. Alright. Lame. I wish that it worked. Because it I mean it should work, but it didn't. Alright guys, so if you've ever seen my videos, you know I've got one more surprise left. And that's a $5 bill. We're going to stick it in here. See if we can cash out. Come on, homie. Let's cash out. We're trying to put it in here. Get some PSN bucks. Call it a day. There it goes. It was halfway in. Maybe it gives me $2.50. Come on, man. It should be like a vending machine. Alright. Maybe not today. Um... But yeah, so that's what happens when you put a foreign disc in your uh, Spider-Man PS4, in case you're wondering. Uh, let me know down in the comments if you want my PS4. I'm not going to give it to you, but just let me know if you want it. And uh, yeah, hope you guys have a great day.